this new song. So I'm gonna put a praise on it. Man. I get a hip hop praise or something. I'm gonna put a praise on it.
time this morning. I was spending in the church. Um, amen. Thank you for Brother Jeremiah and Brother Matthew Gibson. Um, my bad. Bishop, um, Bishop Jeremiah, James Houser. Let's give a hand for him. And Superintendent Matthew.
the superintendent, President Matthew Gibson, with every comment in his own special way. Let's say it, man, as he comes.
Amen. Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1 through 3. And it reads, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. The tongue of the wise gives it knowledge. All right, but the mouth of fools pours out foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and beholding the good. I want to talk to you for a bit. Uh, few brief moments stating the topic I'm being watched. Come on now. Um, uh, shake somebody hand and say neighbor. neighbor. I'm, being I'm being watched. I'm being watched. I'm being looked at. I'm being stared at for a long period of time. When we look at these verses we see in Proverbs that it is talking about the Lord's eyes. And the Lord's eyes are in every place. I mean, I could preach a whole message on that little statement right there. But can I tell my testimony real quick? Will y'all let me tell my testimony real quick? Can I tell my testimony real quick? Uh, I remember when I would do sin back in the dark. And, 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 and then try to hide it in the light. And then the Lord came to me in a dream. I told you guys about this dream. And, 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 and if you keep, he said, the Lord said, if you keep doing sin, he will take away my eyesight. Come on, look at somebody and say, your eyesight. Your eyesight, your eyesight. Then, out of the body service, uh, President Gibson's mother, my aunt, Stephanie, read a scripture in Proverbs that said, the eyes of the Lord are in every place. So that everything that was dark, God brought it to light. Uh, it came to me so plain the other day. Uh, my father said, you could not get away from God. Amen. And so it made me realize that you could not get away from anything with God. Oh, look at Jonah. He tried to run away, but God brought him back. Uh, everything you do under the table... God will bring it to life. Come on, heaven preach. Come on, I know that I know that I'm gonna say it never I know right. Everything that you do under the covers, God will bring it to light. Come on now, church. Jesus is the light of the world. And every place that's dark, the Bible says he will bring it to light. Even those little things that you don't think is wrong, it is probably wrong unto God. Another testimony I have is whenever I was associating with a girl and I tried to associate with other girls. That's a sin. That's called an adultery. That it is disrespectful and lying and I did not follow the commandments. But, and then she found out about the darkness. So that's what I mean about darkness to light. We're all we're cool now, but it made me realize that how can I stand before the people and say, follow God do what you're told to do. Don't lie. Don't steal. Don't cheat. And other doing those things. God will bring those things to light. Uh, you may not realize this might be a hard message this morning. I'm sorry, but this is my church. You are getting used to it. You have to realize that you can't be sucking eggs out of it and trying to get in the pulpit and trying to preach the word. I had to sit myself down one time because I did some sin and I tried to come into church. The next couple of minutes, but I couldn't do that. I had to repent of my sin, and God gave me a whooping for it. Y'all don't gotta say amen, I'm going right. God will reveal things to people if you do wrong to his people. Yes, sir. I'm almost done. As a little child, my father would tell me that if you tell a lie or even do wrong, God is watching. Uh, I bet your parents will tell you that. And they, they tell you, they'd be like, hey, hey, Matthew, you tell a lie, God is watching. Oh, yeah, you tell a lie, God is 
watching you. Shut my eyes and tell me why God is, wa God is watching you. So you can take this either way you want to. So you can talk to him. I do know. So you can take this either way you want to. You can keep sinning. You can keep lying. Come on now. I'm taking you back to the You can keep cheating. Uh -uh. You can keep sinning. You can lessen your anointing. Come on now. You can. You can keep. Not, yeah. You can keep lying. That will separate you with God. Come on now, church. You can keep cheating. Cheating, and you can get out of heaven. Come on now. Or you can keep God's commandments and God will heal your body. Love your neighbor as yourself, and he will resurrect your dead dream. Yes, sir. You will live holy and bless your house, bless your family, bless your car, bless your job. If you live it right, heaven belongs to you. Yes, sir. Took somebody on the hand and say, neighbor, I'm being watched. Neighbor, I'm being watched. Well, come on, look at the neighbor. Say, I'm a neighbor. Neighbor, I'm being watched. I'm being watched. Come on, look at somebody else and say, neighbor, I'm being watched. Now, come being on, watched. clap your hands and give God some praise. Oh yes, please. 